hello if you are new to this channel kindly share like and subscribe so that the next time we upload video you'll be the first to get notification about all the fascinating news that will have that will come your way hello good day my excellent viewers today we are looking at the controversy between a two former friends and two former governors of Kano State. We are talking about the former governor of Kano State, Alajira Bumisa Kwankwaso, who of course was the governor of Kano State in 1999 and lost to Shakarao after his first tenure, only to come back after Shakarao's eight and um, four eight years rule to complete his own eight year rule in the state. But we are looking at the reason he fell apart with his former political son in the person of Ganduji. Only recently, we had an issue where the former governor, Alaji Rabbi Musa Kwankwansu, visited Asurok to have a clandestine meeting with the president. And it has been rumored that Kwan Kwansu is likely going to join the government of national unity has been canvassed by the current administration. But it is not, it's no longer a rumor that the immediate past the governor of the state, um, Alaji Ganduji, is not comfortable with the rumors of his former boss with the president. And while both of them had meeting with a private meeting with the president at separate time, when the Ganduji was accosted by uh, media by correspondents at the presidential villa over his reaction to Kwan Kwasu visit to presidential villa, he said pointedly that if he had met the former pre, um, the former governor of, of his state, that he would have slapped him. And when the um, Alajira Bumisa Kwan Kwasu was made to react to the assertion has been made by his former political godson. Kwan Kwansu was not, didn't miss words by saying that the his former god, political godson and the person of um, Ganduji cannot look at him in the face and that he is his boy. And if you look at it, if you trace the political history of Ganduji, I think to an extent, one will be tempted to believe that actually is a boy to Kwan Kwan so, The reason is not far-fetched. Because in 1999, when Kwan Kwan so decided to run for election as the governor of the state, he used Ganduji as his running mate. After that election, in, the, in an attempt to contest for the second term, he lost to Shakao, who then ran on the popularity of Muhammad Buhari and won him as an incumbent governor. Having lost out, the former president of uh, the former administration under the leadership of Olusha Wabasanjo made Kwan Kwasu the Minister of Defense. And Kwan Kwasu, to prove, actually prove that Ganduji is his boy, he equally used Ganduji as his PA, as a Minister of Defense. Having finished that tenure as a Minister of Defense, and it was the time Jonathan came into office, and Kwan Kwasu was no longer having any political appointment. Kwan Kwasu was able to use his connection and his influence to, sec to secure a diplomatic work for a, di a diplomatic job for Ganduji in one of Nigerian foreign missions abroad to further prove that it is his boy. And after the tenure of uh, the first tenure of Jonathan, Kwan Kwasu had a cause to go back to Kano to recontest and he won as a second time uh, governor of that state and he equally used Ganduji as his running mate. Having finished his two tenure as being permitted by the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Kwan Kwan Su was able to influence and made Ganduji the governor of the state thanks to the famous Kwan Kwan Sia movement that is the most popular, popular uh, that has a major popularity in Kano politics. Having done that, 
Immediately, Ganduje became the governor of the state. Both of them fell apart. And the issue of uh, the dethroning of the Emir of Kano became an issue. In the wisdom of the former governor and the person of Ganduje, he saw that he saw the need to influence the House of Assembly to, um, to amend the law to break Kano into five different emirates. And having done that, there was need, according to the governor and the government of the state then, to dethrone the emir of Kano, the person of Sanusi. These are part of the reasons, and we can understand that deepen the differences between the uh, former two former close friends. But to prove that Gandu, um, to prove that Kwan Kwan Su is the mentor and the most uh, that and he has a a, a, a a bigger stake in Kano State, in the last general election of 2023, Kwan Kwan Su, with his influence, was able to use a non-popular party, NMPP, to challenge the incumbent governor. The incumbent governor's party, who though he was not in the on the ballot, but was supporting someone he had not anointed as his own candidate in his own political party, and as if to actually prove that Gandhi um, Kwan is the is the major political godfather of the state, against all odds, even with the uh, presidential might, Kwan Kwanso was able to win in that state with the current governor now being sworn in, having been sworn in under NMPP. So I feel and I believe that the romance between Kwan Kwan Su and the president is not going to end soon. Since Kwan Kwan Su have openly said that the president have actually given him a promise of an appointment and that they are merely waiting for the national the formation of the national assembly to consummate it. It goes to it goes to say that the appointment may mean may be in the category of the appointment that would need national assembly to ratify and endorse. So to that extent, it implies that the differences between Ganduji and Kwan Kwan Su is not any time soon coming to an end. Hence. His uh, Kwan Kwan Su is likely going to be in the in this current government. So, my SC viewers, I uh, will enjoy you to watch out for any other time we come up with such fascinating news. Thank you.